guys, Mike here again. Welcome back to Hope is Alive channel. Um, around fellowship, I want to look at the one another commands. The essence of this is koinonia, the word for fellowship, is about imparting something to someone else. So I want to impart something to you and encourage you to impart to one another. So in the one another scriptures, you can do this for yourself. I'll put all the scriptures down the bottom. 12, 10, love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Romans 12, 16 says, live in harmony or be in the same mind with one another. You think of that scripture, how can two walk together unless they first agree? Another one another is judge not and build up one another. That's Romans 14, 13 says, let us not pass judgment on one another any longer. And then it goes on in verse 19 and says, let us pursue what makes for peace and for mutual upbuilding. And I think sometimes, you know, when we're talking to one another, when we're talking about other people in church, we could really use that scripture to help us. Another one, again, in the book of Romans is Romans 15, 7. It says, welcome one another as Christ has welcomed you. So that's all about acceptance. It doesn't mean that you agree necessarily with what someone is doing, but you still love on them. Um, another one is to admonish one another. Romans 15, 14. Paul says, I myself am satisfied about you my brothers, that you yourselves are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge and able to instruct one another. So that's what admonishes. It means to encourage. It means to instruct. It means help get on the right path. 1 Corinthians 6, 7 for the legal eagles, it says in the King James, sue not one another. It, uh, Paul says to have lawsuits at all with one another is already a defeat for you. Why not rather suffer wrong? Why not rather be defrauded? And the background seems to be that they were trying to keep face and, um, and not lose face anywhere. So they were taking one another to court. And Paul says, look, better to be defamed and have a pure heart than to sue your brother. 1 Corinthians 7, 5, do not deprive one another. And that's more around marriage. One. Another one is wait for one another. 1 Corinthians 11.33, when you come together to eat, wait for one another. In other words, what he was saying there was some just go off and start gorging themselves and um, just be calm, relax, man. Care for one another. 1 Corinthians 12.25, have the same care one for another. Galatians 5.26, let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. So we're not to provoke and we're not to envy someone else. Galatians 6.2, bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. So when you see someone going through something, it's an encouragement to them if you help bear their burden. And that could just be simply to pray. Okay, hope that helps you today. Bless. Hey, thanks very much for watching Hope is Alive channel. For more videos, you can click here or here. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, send it to your friends. Take care. You can choose now. Yeah, just anywhere. Yeah.